In this Soma Pilates, we're going to be organizing around center on the floor here, and we're gonna explore our half rollbacks. I think we might throw a roll up in there, and also some hinging and variations. So let's begin with the legs bent, and heels can line up with the sits bones, but remembering we're all built a bit differently. So if this does not give you enough room for your body, you open the legs. All of our movement in Soma movement is about the concept, not making a shape. So we don't have to be in some exact form and then lose ourselves in it. We always put ourselves first, yeah? So hands behind the knees for a little extra support to begin. And we have our vertebral bodies of our spine. We have our fluid spine. We could also add that idea of the heart and that release of the neck. So you can see how we can start to layer in different systems of the body and still doing all of our fabulous Pilates exercises and yoga practices, but with a much more embodied um, practice. So the tail can lead, rolling down, and of course we're trying to find our relationship to gravity. And here's this beautiful curve. And then we're going to round forward, and the head and the tail, they are reaching, the heart can roll under, and rolling back again. And this time as you roll back, take a pause. Now, if you'd like to continue to use your arms as support, you can. We're also going to have an option to reach the arms forwards. Within what the arms and the legs are doing, that spine is really active. So there's a reach and pull of that tail. And then rounding forwards in the hands can reach through space. The tail is still reaching. So we have that awareness of the whole spine. You got your buddies, your occipital bone, and your sacrum, and rolling back. And the heart can be this beautifully buoyant organ. And we're rounding to return. And this next one, we're going to roll all the way down. Moving into the support, so softening softening back body into the ground. The arms can reach overhead and then come back up. Now follow the back body as you come up and you can think there's my occipital bone, there goes my cervical, here's my heart rolling, there goes my thoracic, my lumbar sacrum tail. Now, how did you do with that? <laughs> because let me tell you, I think rolling up and down is very challenging. So you can use the hands as support as you go down. And then as you're coming up, same thing. So we flow, you can use those hands. Very centered and then reaching forward again. Now we can also sit up again and take the legs out. Once again, so many variations of this. We can bring the legs completely together. That is going to create a little bit more restriction through our pelvis, but it's also going to connect us nice and deeply to the inner thighs. That might work for you. Opening the legs allows more room for the pelvis, little less connection through the inner thighs. That might work for you. So here we go, arms reaching. Now let's round forward first. So the tail is gonna reach and we can feel the sacrum and that occipital bone. You can also feel the heart roll under, relaxing through the neck. And rolling down. The tail's gonna reach, it's like you're on a little conveyor belt. And 
soften. If you were a sandbag, the sand would keep dropping to the lowest point, gathering and dropping and giving you a lot of support until finally you make your way all the way down and it just slides and distributes and the arms can go overhead. Same thing on the way up. The back body is the support for the front. So this becomes not just about, I'm gonna use abdominal muscles to get up. Actually gonna use the ground and space. So let's just do a few small ones here. We're gonna roll up and then let your body weight, the tone, let it drop to the bottom. And then as you roll back down, follow it as it just flows back. Not the chin, there's that occipital bone, here's our heart rolling. And now we're gonna follow it all the way up. Feel that weight as it moves down, down, down to become the support for you, to become the foundation and reaching forwards. And let's do that one more time. You might decide you prefer to just do this with the legs bent. You might decide you prefer to just do this uh, rolling a little bit back and not going all the way down. So relationship to gravity, right? We could do this standing. Hmm, maybe we will. <laughs> and then rolling all the way up. Oh, take a little rest, you can wiggle things out. Let things breathe again. And now we're going to move into our hinging. So we start with the legs bent. And we're gonna take those hands to elbows. And the hinge back needs a big push, a push from the tail. This is where we want to remember where the bodies of our spine are. They're more in the middle, not back here. So let the back body be wide, lots of space for that heart. And then returning back up. And a little hinge back. This one, let's lift and lower the arms. Nice push through the tail, easy and soft through the head, even soft shoulders. We want the upper body to be like space. That's what it's in relationship with. And then return back up. And now we'll lengthen the legs. And again, they can be together, they can be slightly apart. What works for your body? Push of the tail, find that foundation, and then hinging back. And here we go, we can lift. So now the practice is, believe it or not, softening. Can I actually find the push of the tail to grow out of the ground, but I'm also trying to release tension that I don't need? And return back up. Woo! And release. We're gonna go back to the rolling and add a rotation. So let's bend the legs and roll down the middle. So this is where we have to find that organizing. And then you're gonna take that left arm or right arm. This is where I get bad at trying to figure out what I'm doing and looking. I think it looks like uh, I should probably say my left. Well, it depends on which way you're sitting anyway. I'm monologuing and you're just trying to hang out in this pose. So <laughs> open the arm, but we still have this support. And did you stay organized with things rotating around the middle? And then return and roll up. And let's try that on the other side, rolling back. So the hips and the legs and the feet stay straight ahead. It's that little tail that's gonna spiral and the sacrum and we move up through those vertebral bodies and we can flow this arm. That heart is suspending and returning and roll up to sit tall and then we could add arms to this or stay with what we just did, rolling back. Spiraling through the center 
And this hand can reach out as well, spiraling, spiraling. And return. Roll back up. And rolling back. Spiraling, and you can spiral through your beautiful heart. And return. And all the way up. Hinging with rotation. Reach the legs long. Let's hold those arms. Push of the tail now. The tail is not reaching under. The tail is pushing. And we rotate one side. Heart can rotate. Easy through the neck and the head. Nice push of that tail. Remembering where the bodies of your vertebrae are. Return back. Let's come back up. Oh, let's do that one more time. And little hinge back. Push of the tail, trying to soften. So there's a lot happening in the hip flexors here, right? So the more we find a push of the tail, they can soften a little bit more, but it's okay that they're working. That's their job right now. And return. And then back up we go. And release. and return. Now that was a lot of flexing in the hips, so I think it would feel nice to open them back up. Simply just take one leg forward and a little lunge. That feels nice, doesn't it? And then we'll switch. So that was some lovely half rollbacks, even a roll up, and some hinging while we were organizing around our center and we're using our, you know, organizing and our centering to be that spine, that fluid spine, our heart, and you can even think of your head and your neck 